Welcome to the MBS Engineering channel. In this video, we will discuss how to calculate the motor speed, frequency, and number of poles. And then we learn what the speed, RPM, of a motor is and why it's important to calculate it. Next, we will first learn what the speed, RPM, of a motor is and why it's important to calculate it. First, we learn, what the speed, RPM, of a motor is. RPM stands for revolutions per minute and is used to measure the speed of a motor. It refers to the rate at which the rotor is revolving or the number of times the rotor shaft completes a full rotation per minute. This measurement is essential for determining the speed of various types of equipment, including motors, turbines, and conveyors. Next, we learn why RPM or revolution per minute is important to calculate it. It is crucial to calculate the RPM of a motor, along with other measurements such as voltage, torque, and power, when selecting a motor for a specific application. Knowing the motor speed can assist you in selecting the appropriate motor when replacing components and making better repair decisions. Additionally, understanding RPM is essential for monitoring and controlling motor operation effectively. Next, we learn the motor speed, frequency, number of poles calculation formula. To calculate the motor speed, frequency, and number of poles, we use the following formula. Motor speed, N, is equals to 120 into frequency divided by pole. Here, N is the motor speed, RPM. F is the frequency in hertz, and P is the number of poles. Next, we learn how to calculate the motor speed. Let's consider an example where the motor is operated on 400 volts, 60 hertz frequency, and the number of poles is 4. To calculate the motor speed, we use the formula. Motor speed RPM, N, is equals to 120 into frequency divided by the pole. Plugging in the data, we get motor speed RPM, N, is equals to 120 into 60 divided by 4. Therefore the speed of the motor is 1800 RPM. Next, we learn how to calculate the motor frequency. To calculate the motor frequency, we use the same formula but rearrange it as frequency F equals motor speed N into pole divided by 120. Let's consider an example. The frequency of the motor is required when operated at 400 volts. The speed of the motor is 1800 RPM. Number of poles is 4. Given, the number of poles, P, is 4 and the speed of the motor is 1800 RPM. We can calculate the frequency, F, as. Frequency, F, is equals to motor speed, N, into pole divided by 120. Plugging in the data, we get the frequency of the motor is equals 1800 into 4 divided by 120. Therefore, the frequency of the motor is 60 Hz. Next, we learn how to calculate the motor number of poles. 
To calculate the number of poles, we rearrange the formula as pole P is equals to 120 into frequency divided by motor speed N. Let consider an example, the number of poles required to achieve the speed of 1800 rpm when operated on 400 volts, frequency 60 Hz is given, the speed of the motor is 1800 rpm and the frequency is 60 Hz, we can calculate the number of poles P as pole P is equals to 120 into frequency divided by motor speed N. Pole P is equals to 120 into 60 divided by 1800. Therefore, the number of poles is 4. We hope this video has helped you understand how to calculate the motor speed, frequency, and number of poles. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos. Thank you for watching.